Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. On this clip, we're going to be going over the geometric mean and geometric sequences. So for the first question, um, we are to find the missing terms of the geometric sequence uh, given below. Okay, now um, I'm going to set up the problem in two different ways. There are two ways you can set up the problem. And then I'm going to proceed to solve for the common ratio that can enable us to find the missing terms. Okay, so let's uh, focus on the setup of the equation that enables us to find R. So uh, method one, I'm going to call this the, um, the common ratio method. All right, method one setup. This is known as a common ratio method. Now remember, what we're looking for here is a common ratio um, so that we can generate the terms by re repeated multiplication, okay? All right, so if we think about the definition of a geometric sequence, what does that mean? A geometric sequence is, is created by multiplying a, a previous term by the same constant known as the common ratio. So repeated multiplication by the common ratio will generate the terms of the geometric sequence. Okay? So if we take a look at this sequence that we have right here, the question is how are subsequent terms generated? Well, you have to do the same procedure over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? So what is the operation for generating geometric sequences? Remember, geometric sequence involves multiplying, okay? And arithmetic sequence involves adding. In geometric sequence, you multiply repeatedly by a constant, a term, called the common ratio, okay? So if you multiply 4 by r, you get a second term by r again, the third by r, the fourth by r, the fifth, and by R, you get the sixth term, okay? So the common ratio method of setting up the equation to solve for R involves setting up the following equation. The final term 972 can be determined by multiplying the first term 4 by the constant ratio how many times? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 4 times 1 two, three, four, five. Okay? What is R five times? R five times is R to the fifth power. Okay, so by solving this equation, I can determine what R is, which can help me generate the missing terms in this geometric mean. Okay? Now, this is one way to set up the problem. Let's take a look at another way to set up, set up the equation that can help us find R. Method number two. Method two set up, I'm going to call it the formulaic method. So we're going to use the formula for the nth term of uh, a geometric sequence. All right, so assuming you don't know what the formula is, you can just resort to the common ratio method. That, that always works. All right, so what is the formula? The formula is, uh, let's write it down, <clears throat> formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence, a n is equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1. Okay, so in this situation we have here, what is the first term? a1, the first term is 4, as you can see. Now, what is n? How many terms are under consideration here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So n is equal to 6, the first and last term, including the four missing terms. A n, in this case, is equal to a6, the sixth term, which is 972. This right here is a n, which is equal to a6. The common ratio is what we need to find. We do not know what the common ratio is. 
So to plug all these pieces of information into our formula, we're going to have AN, which is A6, which is 972, is equal to the first term, 4, times the comma ratio R, we don't know what that is, raised to the N6 minus 1. Now if you simplify that, what do you get? You get 972 equals 4 R to the fifth power. Now what do you notice? This equation is exactly the same as that one, right? So whichever method you like to use to set up an equation to solve for R, go ahead and use it. Now we're going to proceed to solve for R, okay? So we have 972 equals 4 R to the fifth, okay? So how do we get r by itself? We'll start by getting rid of 4 and then the fifth power. It's as though we're doing the uh, order of operations backwards, okay? So divide both sides by 4. If you divide both sides by 4, using the reflexive property of equality, I can write it as r to the fifth power equals 972 over 4 is 243. Now, how do we get R isolated? What is the inverse of the fifth power? The inverse of the fifth power is the fifth root. So you take the one fifth power of both sides of the equation, and that leaves you with R equals the fifth root of 243 is three, okay? So just raise 243 to the one fifth power in your calculator. You go 243 carats. Don't forget the parenthesis one divided by five, and then you should get three. Now we know what the common ratio is. Let's go back to our uh, geometric mean. R is three. So basically, we're multiplying by three over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so what are the missing terms here? Just simply multiply by 3. 4 time, times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 3 is 108. And then 108 times 3 is 324. Just to verify that your uh, results are correct, whatever if you multiply 324 by 3, you must get 972. And that certainly is the case here. Okay, so these are the missing terms of our geometric sequence. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number two. So problem two is as follows. Instructions for the given two terms of a geometric sequence, find the A common ratio, the first five terms, the eighth term, the explicit formula or rule, and the recursive formula or rule. Okay, so we have uh, for number two, the third term is equal to negative 27. And the fourth term, A4, is equal to 81. All right, so the assumption here is that this is a geometric sequence as indicated in the instructions. Part A, we have to find a common ratio. The common ratio is R. And it's determined by the formula a n a term divided by the term before it okay that's how you generate the common ratio can we apply this formula to this scenario here we certainly can we have a4 and the term before it a3 so we can compute the quotient of a4 and a3 okay so we have A4 is 81 divided by A3, which is negative 27. If you divide it out, you end up with your common ratio of negative 3. All right, let's take a look at the B part. The B part, we are asked to find the first five terms. Now, there's a quick shortcut to do this with a problem like this, so close to the first term. But I don't want to show you the shortcut. I want to show you how to uh, carry out the procedure using the formula. Okay? So the formula that we're going to be using is the formula for the nth term of a geometric uh, sequence. An equals A1 
r to the n minus 1. The reason why I'm using this method is because if you have a much more complicated problem, you can still solve it without using tricks. All right? So we have the formula down. Now, if we want to find the first five terms, we need to start with the foundation. We need to find the first term. Okay? So what we're going to do is as follows. We're going to uh, use the an nth term, so using an nth term, so we can either use the third term or the fourth fourth term, it doesn't really matter. And this problem, let's use the fourth term, okay? Using a4, we're going to find the first term, okay? So with, with any given nth term of a geometric um, sequence, you can basically generate what the first term is. Well, how is that possible? Well, let's go ahead and write down what we know based on this information. Based on this given information right here, we know that um, the number of terms is 4. How do we know that n is equal to 4? Well, if you look at the index, or so the subscript of this nth term is 4, so n is 4. An is a4, which is 81. The common ratio has already been determined for us in the first part, which is negative 3, okay? So if you have a common ratio and an nth term, you can find the first term, okay? So A1 is unknown. So we just put a question mark for A1. Okay, so let's plug it into the equation. Uh, to solve for the first term, if we do that, we're going to have an, which is 81, equals a1, the first term, is unknown, times the common ratio of negative 3, raised to the n, which is 4, minus 1. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and simplify this. We have 81 equals a1 times negative 3, raised to the third power. Now let's simplify this further, raise negative 3 to the third power, we have 81 equals a1, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. All right, now we're going to proceed to get a1 isolated by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 27. And we carry out that division that tells us that the first term of the geometric sequence is 81 over negative 27, which is negative 3. All right. Now, with that, we can uh, simply generate the rem remaining terms of this sequence. So how do we do that? Well, we start with the first one, and we repeatedly multiply by the common ratio of negative 3. Okay, so we have negative 3. If we times that by 3, we get 9 times it by 3, I'm sorry, by negative 3, we get negative 27, times it by negative 3 again, you get 81, times it by negative 3 again, you get negative 243. All right, so repeated multiplication by negative 3 over and over again will generate the terms of uh, this geometric sequence. So times by negative 3, times by negative 3. Okay, so that's the answer for uh, question letter B. Now, for the C part, we have to find the 8th term. We have to find A8. So here, we're going to use the formula again. All right, so we know what the formula is, the formula for the nth term. An is equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. So let's write down what we know. We know that the first term a1, we already determined it in the previous problem, is negative 3. The common ratio, we figured this out in part a, which is negative 3. Uh, number of terms. Since we're looking for the eighth term, if you look at the index that tells you what n is, the number of terms a uh, n is equal to 8. a n is equal to a8, which is what we are looking for. Okay? 
Now, um, let's go ahead and plug in these values into the equation provided here. So we have AA, the eighth term that we're looking for, times the first term, A1, times the comma ratio, raised to the N minus 1. All right, so if you simplify this, you have negative 3 raised to the negative 3, 8 minus 1 is 7. Okay, for your order of operations, you have to do the exponentiation first. Do not multiply before you exponentiate, okay? So just simply plug this into the calculator. If you do that, you end up with 6,561 as your final result. All right, let's take a look at the D part. Part D, we have to find the explicit formula or rule for the um, geometric sequence. Okay, now we're going to use the formula again. I don't know what that is. Okay, the formula again is for the nth term of a geometric sequence, a n is equal to a1 times r to the n minus 1. So if you want to find the explicit rule, all you need to do is you just need to set A1 to its real value. A1 is negative 3. Set R to its value, which is, um, what is R? R is negative 3 also. And then N is just going to be N because we're looking for the, the explicit formula or rule is in terms of the nth term. If N is N, AN is also equal to AN. If we plug all this into the formula, we'll have a n equals the first term, a1 times the comma ratio raised to the n minus 1. Okay? So this basically is the um, explicit formula for the uh, geometric sequence with the terms provided earlier. All right, let's take a look at the last part. Uh, we have to find the recursive recursive uh, formula formula or rule. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we just have to look at a pattern that uh, we were able to observe earlier. So if you have a term, how do you find, uh, how do you generate terms of the geometric sequence? To find the next term, let's say a n is the next term, you take the previous term and do what? You take the previous term and multiply by the comma ratio. What is the comma ratio? Uh, in this problem, the comma ratio is negative 3. Okay, so this basically is the uh, explicit, the recursive formula or, or rule but we also have to indicate our starting point. We start from the first term of negative 3. Okay? So just following the pattern of repeated multiplication, starting from the first term, will help us determine what the recursive formula or rule is. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful to you, do give us a thumbs up. We like the positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about um, geometric sequences or any Algebra 2 honors concept in general, just ask your question in the comment section below, and we'll be glad to assist you as soon as possible. More clips can be found on mathcoserve.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.